What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing this look right here, but it's not really about this look. It's more about the products that I'm using to create this look because I'm using a ton of new products. I didn't even count how many new products I used. I'll just include it in the title of this video or you'll see in the description box how many items I used, but I used a ton uh, drugstore I use high-end as well some products that are raved about and some products that some people might have not heard of yet I was in the shower and I was like I feel like trying out new makeup products today so when I got out I came in my little box of new products that I have yet to try and I was just digging out a bunch of stuff that I've been wanting to try out and some of the stuff was sent to me some of the stuff I purchased I went to Sephora and Ulta the other day and I did like a haul on my Snapchat and I told you guys everything that I bought. So some of those products are also in here as well because a lot of you guys were requesting to see a first impressions video. So that's pretty much all I have for the intro. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and jump right into the first impressions all right we are here bare faced and ready to go i'm first trying out the becca 12 hour shine control ever matte poreless priming perfector i have tried this a long time ago and i remember i wasn't a huge fan of it because at that time my skin wasn't as oily so i wanted to give it a try again now that my skin has been super super oily so this like it says is 12 hour shine control it's supposed to mattify as well as help blur out any pores and it claims to be liquid blotting paper and you're supposed to be able to use it before and after makeup application so we're gonna see how this works and I've heard from you guys that it's better to go ahead and tap it into the skin rather than swiping it or smearing it all over your face so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm only gonna apply a little bit because I do remember this stuff is pretty intense as far as mattifying just gonna tap it right in that area I don't know if you guys are able to tell but it did quite mattify right off the bat as far as blurring though I mean I have a lot of pores in this area and it smoothed a little bit but not as much as some other primers that I've tried yeah the primer makes my skin feel a little bit tight but once I put my foundation I think I'll be fine and actually before I continue on I wanted to try this one out first this is my new scent bird scent I just got it in the mail a few days ago and I wanted to Give it a try i've never tried this scent before this is the i'm totally gonna butcher this but it's Comptour sud pacifique i'll have it listed down below but yeah i love scent for 14.95 a month and you get designer fragrances and you don't have to commit yourself to one fragrance especially if you're like me i've said this before a ton i don't use up fragrances fast or anything I haven't even gone through a full one of these from all, all my other Scentbird subscriptions. But it's cool because you get new fragrances every single month and you just accumulate all these cute little travel size fragrances. You just twist it up and you just spray it. Oh, that smells really good. It smells like kind of like candy. They have a ton of fragrances on there. I think they have 450 fragrances. You also get to pick like the little tube that you want to put it in. I have my other ones in my closet, but I have a gold one and I have it in black as well. And you can just switch out to whatever, you know, little holder that you want to put it in. And you can pick your own fragrance, whatever fragrance that you like, and you can just throw it in your purse, throw it in your car and you're good to go but i do have a coupon code for scentbird that i wanted to let you guys know about so it's going to be linked down below as well as their website and everything and i'm going to have a few other things about scentbird down below in the description box and let me go ahead and spray it on myself because i want to see how it wears on me throughout the day or you know throughout this video so i can see if it's my type of oh yeah that smells that smells really good it smells a lot better on the skin than just spraying it Oh yeah, that smells good. <laughs> so yeah, check below for the coupon code. It's 25% off and then you also get free shipping. And then plus I'm going to list the one that I have. I'm going to list it down below. That so far smells really good. We'll see if I end up liking it throughout the video or if it's a little bit too strong for me. But we're going to continue on from there and apply a foundation. And this is a new one that I received in the mail from Amazing Cosmetics. And this is their Amazing Concealer Foundation. This is in the shade Light Golden. 
and I have the little sheet here that tells me what this is all about so it's supposed to hydrate protect so it has antioxidants that defend the skin from damaging free radicals and it refinishes so silk powder creates a flawlessly smooth canvas so you're supposed to be able to build the coverage of this foundation if you want a really light coverage it looks kind of like a BB cream but if you want like a light coverage you can go in with a lighter amount and then if you want fuller coverage you can go in with a lot more so I love me a full coverage foundation you all already know that and so I'm gonna probably be applying a little bit more and so I'm just literally just gonna tap it onto my skin hopefully it works okay because I'm gonna be wearing this makeup out throughout the day so hopefully the color is good if not we'll go ahead and bronze yeah it looks like it's gonna be a little too light but we'll try to make it work oh, I look crazy <laughs> and then to blend everything I'm trying out this new sponge from real techniques and when I saw this sponge I honestly just got it because of the fact that it has two different colors and this is supposed to be like a sponge that gives you full coverage you use the orange side for foundation and you use this side for like cream products as far as blush and everything like that and the thing with this one is that when you run it underneath the sink it does not expand it literally stays the same size and it stays as dense which is like uh, because I like my sponges to expand but that's probably why it gives you a fuller coverage because you're literally just tapping the product on the surface so I'm gonna use the orange side of the sponge to try to blend this out and see how it works The foundation is light. It's really light. Okay, the sponge I'm not liking. Let me bring you guys closer. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So the sponge is not working out for me. It's literally just spreading the product all over the place. So I'm just going to go in with a brush. I'm just going to use my Morphe M439 because the brush is just... I mean, the, the sponge is not doing it for me I hope this oxidizes on me I hope for once I hope that this will oxidize and even with the brush it is applying pretty streaky and it's just kind of all over the place um yeah it's not applying how my foundations usually apply so I guess I'm gonna go dampen my beauty blender sponge and try to see if I can make this work because with the brush you can tell that it's just all over the place and it's not the primer because it's applying like this all over my face like it's my entire face is just really streaky and it doesn't blend out nice at all and it's not the color, I mean the color is off, that's for sure, but like it's really just streaky and it looks really dry everywhere. It's very, yeah, it's very drying. It's clinging on to dry patches like crazy. Um, I'm probably going to take this off. Yeah, it says apply using your fingertips or a foundation brush. So I guess I'll try my fingertips instead of a sponge. Let's see if that kind of works a little bit better. I don't like applying makeup with my fingers, but... Okay, so I am just going to take this off and reapply my primer and apply just a different foundation because this is not going to work for me. The color is way off and it's not blending. Like it's not blending into my skin. Typically when a foundation is too light for me, I can still make it work as long as it blends into my skin. I can still bronze up or add a darker powder on top. But with this, I, I'm finding that I can't work with it. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to redo my primer. See, the primer with the Hourglass foundation stick feels really nice. I still have to apply foundation on my nose. That's why it looks a little off. 
but the Becca primer feels nice with the hourglass foundation stick it's not the primer I think it was just the foundation that I had tried that didn't work out okay the concealer I'm trying out today finally is the Tarte shape tape concealer I've seen this everywhere everybody raves about this concealer so I picked it up I had to give it a try I first picked up light medium honey and it looked a little too light and then I swatched medium and it looked like it got really dark on my hand when I swatched it it was even darker than my hand but I don't know I'm hoping that it works okay all I'm gonna do is just sweep it one two three I'm gonna dip it back in there and again one two three and I'm not gonna apply any more anywhere else because the concealer does feel really thick when you're applying it and I like the wand I like that it has a really big doe foot applicator it makes it a lot easier to apply you don't have to constantly be dipping like in and out of the tube uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that I'll use my I'll use my sponge to kind of give me a better finish since it's really thick coverage is pretty intense and it is a thick concealer it feels really nice as well I don't notice it accentuating my pores or anything like that so that's always great and the concealer feels like it's a little bit more on the matte side so if you have dry eyelids or a dry under eye area I would highly suggest doing an eye cream before applying this because it is thick and it does feel a little bit more matte I honestly feel like I don't even need to set it like if I didn't want to I am still gonna set it because I have a powder that I want to try this is the cover effects matte setting powder they have another powder as well that isn't matte but I wanted to try the matte one because as you guys know I've been struggling with super oily skin lately so I had to get the matte one this one the packaging is a little different you're able to pull it out like this I'm just gonna pour some on the cap and it has a little bit of a tint to it as well so like as far as how it looks it looks similar to the Laura Mercier as far as color I'm just gonna tap that underneath the eye oh and I got this one in the shade light as well they have a light medium and I think they have a deep shade as well yeah I actually really like the, the way the powder is sitting on top of the concealer and on top of the foundation and on top of the primer I was trying to avoid applying any powder around this area because I want to try out a liquid bronzer and I'm trying out this Giorgio Armani Maestro liquid summer and this is in the shade 100 this looks like a really nice liquid bronzer the color is very warm I don't know what I'm gonna apply it with that's the only thing I guess I'll apply it with my morphe m492 I'm just gonna take a few drops of this and just drop it onto my brush and then let's do the forehead because I know I didn't apply powder around here it's like a subtle on me it's like a subtle bronze but it does add a little bit of color back into my skin I mean it looks nice you can see you can tell I just have to make sure not to blend it out like too much all right and I am gonna set that bronzer with a powder I'm gonna use this Milani baked bronzer but this isn't a first impression or anything I've tried this before but what I am trying out today is this elf blending brush this is like a dense fan brush and I've seen a lot of people use fan fans <laughs> use brushes like this to bronze up their skin so that's what I'm gonna use it for and this brush was only six bucks which is really good for a brush you know with this kind of quality the bristles feel super soft so I'm just going to sweep that and it fits perfectly right in this area hmm interesting I like it for bronzing and especially for contouring because this one is a smaller fan brush this brush would basically do it all for you okay and then from here we're gonna go ahead and move on to highlighting and I'm trying out this new diamond glow powder from artist couture I've tried their diamond glow powders they sent me the whole collection that they have but I haven't tried this one this is gold digger and it looks like a really light 
powder but once you swatch it it turns gold which is really strange so that's why I wanted to give it a try I'm gonna apply it with my Sigma F03 and then we're gonna sweep it oh yeah it's really nice actually it does turn gold I was scared it was gonna look really ashy on my skin because it looks light it looks almost white as you guys can see but once it it's on the skin it, it kind of like changes I'm actually gonna try out this mascara from Maybelline I took it out of the packaging already but I haven't tried this one. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I see the commercial all the time. I've been wanting to try it. Supposedly it gives you like really full voluminous lashes without having to put on falsies. I most definitely see a difference <laughs> in this mascara. It's probably a little harder to tell on camera, but it's making my lashes really long, really dark, and really full. It kind of makes my eye look a little bit bigger. It brings out my eyes a little more. And it just makes the top lash line look a lot fuller as well. And that's just with one coat. If I were to continue, it doesn't feel like it would get clumpy. But it still continues to add that volume and everything. I really like this mascara so far. Cool. Fuller lashes without having to wear false lashes. I'm all for it. And I was going to try out a new eyeliner, but I think I'm just going to leave it at mascara and try out this eyeliner another day. It's the Milani one. I plan on doing a full face Milani video soon, so I'll probably just include it in that one. But from here, I'm going to do a lip color. And I wanted to try out these Hourglass Girl lip products. I have the color Influencer and Icon right here. I also received another one. But I'm just going to try out the color Influencer. And this one looks like a really pretty brownish pink nude it's really creamy and i like that it's a crayon because it's easier to line your lips with the only thing is of course once you wear it a few times it's going to start to wear down but i love the color and the formula feels great it feels kind of in between a lipstick and a gloss it's really weird to explain like it doesn't feel like a thick lipstick it's very creamy but i'm pretty much done with all the products that i wanted to try i had a basket full of products and there's nothing left in there so i guess from here i'll just tell you guys what i liked and what i didn't like which i'm sure you guys were able to kind of nitpick from watching the video first thing that i tried was the primer and i did like the primer this is a primer that i would suggest maybe trying out with a more hydrating foundation i wouldn't necessarily try it out with a matte foundation because i feel like doing a matte primer and a matte foundation is just going to dry out your skin but the primer i did really enjoy it i do suggest tapping it in to your skin instead of rubbing because if you rub it it just kind of starts to crumble so this one is a yes as far as the amazing cosmetics amazing concealer foundation for me this one was a no-go i did try blending it with three different things my fingers a brush and a sponge and it just didn't end up blending out the way i was expecting it and i couldn't really see whether or not it had coverage because i couldn't really even blend it out but yeah for me this one was a no unfortunately and then as far as the sponge that i used as well i didn't really like this i just felt like it was applying the product everywhere but it wasn't blending it at all it's almost like you're stamping the product to different areas but it's not blending out it's just staying there I didn't even bother using the other side for concealer because I just think that because of the fact that it doesn't expand it just kind of makes the product sit on top of your skin and it doesn't really blend so the sponge for me was also a no actually I'm forgetting about the second product that I mentioned before moving on to the rest of the makeup so the scent bird I do like it it is wearing really nice and I can smell it on myself I hate when I apply a, a perfume and I can't even smell it on myself and it kind of wears off within a few minutes or within a few hours but this one I can still smell it even without lifting my wrist I can still smell it and because I have the room closed 
it smells like really good in here and I like the scent it's really really nice after foundation and everything I went ahead and did the Tarte Shape Tape and this one I do also recommend which I'm sure you guys were already expecting because there are a lot of great things out there about this concealer right here it has nice coverage it's pretty easy to blend yeah medium I did end up liking the color it works really well for my skin I wouldn't go any lighter and I probably wouldn't go any deeper because then it would probably just blend right into my skin the cover effects matte setting powder is another yes for me I did like the fact that it's finely milled it also has a tiny bit of a tint to it so it doesn't leave my under eyes looking really white so this also shouldn't give any flashback because it has a tint to it and the fact that it's mattifying is a whole like other pro to it because I don't have a translucent powder that mattifies so this one was definitely a yes for me. As far as the Maestro Giorgio Armani bronzer, this one is a nice bronzer but I feel like it hardly showed up on my skin. I would maybe use this to make my skin look a little bit more glowy or bronzy in the summertime. But as far as using this alone, I would maybe suggest this for somebody who is a little bit lighter than I am because on me it like showed up but not as much as I was expecting because on here it looks pretty dark like it looks like it would be a super pretty liquid bronzer but I mean Giorgio Armani's products are pretty expensive so I feel like you can get a similar if not better effect with a darker foundation like a really glowy foundation but this I mean it's pretty you can mix it in with like a foundation and blend it all together and it would give you a really nice bronzy glow and then the elf brush six bucks from the drugstore yes the fibers feel nice i didn't get any shedding while i was applying the bronzer it fits perfectly right in this cheek area you can also use it for contouring the nose six bucks from elf yes for highlighting i've tried the artist couture ones and i've loved every single one that i've tried i just was really kind of like intrigued by this one because it's like stark white it doesn't look ashy at all it doesn't look like a white streak on my face it actually does kind of change to that really really pretty gold color and then from there we did mascara and it's the maybelline colossal big shot typically i use any fa any foundation what am i saying typically i use any mascara and i'm fine with it unless it starts smudging all over the place but with this one, you can see a difference. It made my lashes longer. It also added a lot of volume and it made them a little bit thicker. Like you can actually see that I'm wearing a mascara. And that was only, I think I did two coats. I'm sure if you were to kind of keep messing with your lashes, it would look a lot fuller. And last but not least, the Hourglass Girl in the color Influencer. I like how it feels on the lips. It's like a nice tint to the lips, but it's not too glossy and it's not too like matte either it's right in the middle it's very comfortable to wear it's very easy to apply and i feel like this would be a perfect product to take with you in your purse if you need to touch up because this is a product that you don't need to look in the mirror for like it's so easy to apply that you can probably do it with your eyes closed and the color i mean the color is really pretty it's like a peachy warm tone nude but the formula is nice and the color is on point so those are all the products that i tried out for today's first impression kind of get ready with me video I am gonna get going because I have somewhere to go but I hope you enjoyed this little first impressions video I'm gonna have everything listed down below that I use and everything I know this makeup look isn't anything extravagant or out there but I just got out the shower and I just wanted to try out new products and I was like why not just film myself trying out all these new products so like I said I hope you enjoyed it if you haven't watched my latest video you can just click right over here and it'll take you directly to my latest upload and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet but you enjoyed this video you can just click right over here and go ahead and subscribe thank you all so much for watching I love you guys and I will see you all in my next video